yet another 90. Now to the middle of the floor goes right side wing to Shireman. Look at this Christie Shireman into the lane. 
Picked up a 10 footer, missed it, rebounded and came down to Hardy. Hardy's been with it at the five, and Powers will bring it up and across the 10 second line. Gives it to Robbins. Robbins now is into the second pressure. We'll bring it up and across the timeline into the front court. Now goes left side corner to Hardy. Down the back, and now the second line of Allen's on. So, Colonel Wood River is something that Coach Deese is worried about. The quickness of Sutton and so far, Sutton and the Phillies will be able to force the second of early turnovers. He's had a little more than a minute of a CC basketball game. If it is Oshner for Sutton, right side wing to Christy side. Sutton and Spin goes in the way, kicks it out now to Oshner. Free throw on jumpers there. Oshner for the free throw line. It's a fair free ball game. And here again, he's got the back foot. He's in the tie from the back foot. Oh, he's giving it up. He gets trapped and then gives it off to Robin. Robin's not a box batter. Left side wing to Halty. Halty with it to Wood River at the high post to Harder. Harder's left side wing. They give it low to Halty. She posts up. Yeah. 
left side perimeter, goes to Halsey, left side wing. Becky over her head, out top to Harders, left side wing now to Robbins, head and shoulder face, she pulls up from about 12 and gets it. And Travel and the 
turnover, and getting a basketball back will be Wood River. And again, Sutton going to issue that full court press all the time off any violation. All people inbound it. All people will get it in the box at it. Box at it, found it, going to take on Laurel Storr. Laurel Storr back there, no question about it. That is the second on Storr and on Sutton as a team. I have that as the fourth team foul. It's the fourth or fifth. It is the fourth. And Wood River will inbound it now from the city court line. Checking in now for Sutton, their sec second substitution. That'll bring on Mindy Smith, the 5'3 junior. And of course, I'm on for Laurel Storr. So Storr coming to flip early fouls, and that's not good news for Sutton. All people inbound the basketball. Gives it in the box at it. And it's 15 to go. Box at it with the basketball. Left side wing to Halsey. Nice pass to the ball pass. Comes down with it now, Robbins. Her shot was deflected. And now she's going to lose it the floor. Robbins with it. Tip it out. 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 Got it. 
57 double team by Wood River. 57 right side wing, sends it cross court now. Look at his Ochsner, Ochsner, turn, shoot, bad shot, out of control. Rebound comes down to Robin. Robin gets it for Wood River up and across the sideline. Ricky Robin with it across the sideline along the right side. Robin's with the basketball against Shireman. Robin is a little bit of trouble now. to get it off to Hoffey. Body's alive. Basketball is good. Pulled down by Shireman. A non-harder. It's still loose and out of bounds off Shireman. So Wood River will get it back. Boy, well, that time Wood River north got neither team to find a handle to the basketball. 5.38 to go here. Wood River's got an eight-point advantage in the first half. 17 to 9. Inbound pass from Hoffey will go into Robin. Robin's across the lane. This is shot up, but he's fouled by Shireman. This is Shireman's second, and to the free throw line now for Wood River will go Nicky Robbins. And the Eagles, and Coach Deese told us before the game, he said, we're not at all intimidated by Sutton. He's correct about that. They've taken it right at him. And their defense has been the differing factor. Sutton has not scored in the first two minutes and 25 seconds of the second quarter. And the free throw line, Robbins, for two for Wood River. Free throw by Nicky is on the way. Yes. Just one of the ninth for Robbins. Wood River shooting well from the line now. They are seven of nine from the line here in this ball game. 18-9, 5.35 to go here. Robin's second free throw on the way, and it's here. Six in the game for Robin, and Wood River has grabbed a 19-9 lead against Sutton. Oxford across the five line to Christy Shireman. Christy Shireman with the basketball, wants to penetrate to the left side wing. Now gives it back out down to Oxford. Oxford back under the wing to Christy Shireman. Christy Shireman wants to drive. Gets it cross for it to Smith. Down low, Rita, Rita shot. Mm-hmm. Rebound, Barry Shireman.
go here. Sutton with the hoop can take a lead. 23-22. Smith will give it into Oxner. Oxner with the basketball. Right side perimeter. Gives it off to Christy Shireman. Shireman into the lane. Stop. Shireman will give it off now to Drudic. Drudic will give it now to Darla Shireman. Right side down low through the hands of Smith. Taken out of her by Boxstatter. And then Smith dies Boxstatter. And you think by now Sutton wouldn't send Boxstatter to the free throw line. He's been nearly perfect in there. Six of seven from the line. Minute 47 to go. 23, 22. Boxstatter back to the free throw line to Wood River. Most of the games moved fairly quickly earlier today in this girls' state tournament. We have had a lot of battles called in this one, also a lot of turnovers. And as a result, this thing has taken a long time to get the first half of the book. Free throw by Boxstatter is in. Dr. Nixon was running the one and one just seconds ago. This one goes down, nothing but net. She buried it. And at 47 to go, Wood River by a couple at 24-22. Next one by Boxstatter. It misses. Rebound is put out of there by Drudic. Drudic then to Oxner. Down low, Darley Shireman. Off the glass, no. Gets the only rebound. But you know he called for the foul. And they call Darley Shireman for being on the back of the Wood River defender, Robbins. And it is going to be on Darley Shireman, her second. So these foul numbers starting to mount for both teams. For Wood River, Halty has two. Harders has three. And Lure has three. While for Sutton, Store has three. Christy and Darley Shireman have two apiece. And Mindy Smith has two. So now to the free throw line for Wood River will set Nikki Robbins for a one-and-one -one opportunity. Free throw is up there and in by Robbins. Nikki is the seventh point of the night. Now she'll get the bonus. 25-22, a minute 37 remaining until halftime. So this is kind of a slow moving first half here. Next free throw is on the way by Robbins. No good. Rebound. It's finally taken out of there by Shireman. But he can't hold on to it, and Wood River will get it in the corner. So the Eagles will get the basketball back in a minute 34 to go until halftime. The inbounder will be Nikki Robbins. Robbins will go in the middle of the floor, and she takes down by Halsey. Kind of a loose pass. All alone, and Powers puts it up and in. Great pass by Becky Halsey. She's got Terry Powers all alone. Wood River leads by five at 27 22. Christian Shireman, although they have a foul now, called it in Spoon, I think, against uh, Terry Powers. They say she's too close to Amy Oxner. It is on Powers, and on Powers, her first personal. And to the free throw line, Amy Oxner, where she'll shoot one and one. So these two teams really trading free throws here. Amy free Oxner, throws and turnovers have been the story of the first half for both squads. Minute 22 to go, 27-22. Oxner free throws in there. Five in the game now for Amy Oxner. Sutton has not missed on a free throw chance here in the second half. Six for six, rather second quarter. They're six for six from the line in the second quarter. Next one by Oxner. This one does miss. Back to back up the line by Christy Shireman on the offensive rebound, though. Now she turns and fires an 18-footer that misses. And we have a push off on the inside. I think they're going to call it against Becky Halsey. They do. And on Becky, her third personal for all of the Wood River front line in foul trouble. Alfie has three, Harders has three, and Lur has three. Minute 17 to go, and Coach Deep is going to go to Hope Rojas, a 5'6 junior, and try and protect Alfie, who has picked up that third personal. And at the line, Drudic to shoot one and one. Free throw by Drudic is up and no good. The rebound will come down now to Van Winkle. Van Winkle will bring it across the top of himself. Van Winkle stops, and will give it to Howard. And it's five to go. Powers right side perimeter. And the foul is going to be called on Drudic, who's all over the back of Van Winkle. And on Drudic, their second personal. So Sutton now has five players with two or more fouls. Wood River has three girls with three fouls. This thing has turned into a free throw shooting marathon. And for Sutton, Cronin will check back in and come on for Drudic. This case, we may have to get the student managers and the cheerleaders to shoot up because all the players may foul out. The line for Wood River to shoot one and one. Van Winkle puts it up, missed it. Rebound is finally taken down by Smith. Off of her leg. Good hustle play by Terry Powers to knock the basketball away. Off Mindy Smith's leg. Wood River the basketball back. 62 seconds left in the second period. Powers are in bounds to no one. Three to the floor. Finally taken down by Boxcutter. Big leg for Wood River. 
center cut one way, now it's to the basketball the other way. The dribble is able to chase down a loose basketball with it. Overall box, right side free throw line. This is the box center. Box center with it right perimeter. We'll give it back now to Robin. Robin's out to Rojas. Rojas to the top of the circle with the free throw line to Van Winkle. Left side wing to Robin. Robin tries a little give and go, and that time Van Winkle stops. And coming down with it is Don Richard into the Phillies. 32 seconds to go. 27 23. Right side perimeter. Amy Oscar wants to penetrate. She's fouled by Rojas and still shoot one and one. 27 seconds to go on Rojas, her first personal. The more updated score is Omaha Marion at halftime. Leads Lincoln East 26 20. Also at halftime, it's Verdegree over Lee in C2, 21 to 18. And in D2 at halftime, Wheeler Central leads Farnham 17 to 10. Those are the halftime scores of the other games that are in progress. Free throw by Oscar misses. Rebound kept alive by Christy Shireman. Shireman give and go to Oscar. Oscar travels. Just move a muscle. He just went straight up and the official 
this David Hargreaves monthly. That's here for it's personal. And if they keep blowing whistles like this, hold on to your seats because we're going to be here for a while. Now Darla Shire on the back seat tonight. Amy Hargreaves is on there for it. He says, up the dinner by Darla Shire. Again, that unusual one-handed, almost shotgun style where she kind of backs up at the last second with a great in for it. She's a perfect six for six in the line. 
free throw line. Bailey Pierce will do one long lead pass. Christy Shireman comes down with it, shoots it across the wing to Mindy Smith who shoots. Gets his rebound, Halsey. Halsey has it knocked away, and now bodies collide all over the place and wants to call down. They're calling him Becky Halsey, who was on the floor. It is. It's on Becky Halsey, and now that's her fourth personal. So Halsey and Harders have been called for four. Howard and Lure have three, while for Sutton, Storr has four. Oxford and Judic have three, and at the free throw line, is Darla Schneiderman has not missed the free throw opportunity. A perfect seven for seven. 32 31, Sutton with a one point lead. Free throw by Shireman is up and in there. My only question becomes one is if we're going to have anybody left to play this basketball game. This is got to the point where most teams have got a lot of folks in foul trouble. Well, Shireman has money in the bank for the free throw line. Dollar with time and gets both of them. Pressure. Box cutter gets it into the river. Box cutter with it in the back end. Bring it up and across the timeline. Box cutter puts it down. Gets it off now to Robbins. Robbins with it near the through the circle. Wood River trailing 34 31. The Lure at the high post. Lure will lob it down. Try to get it down to Van Winkle. Knocked out of bounds by Oxman. Wood River Sutton basketball on KGFW Saturday. Steve Altmeyer with you live from Persian Auditorium. Inbound it will be Robbins. Goes into Powers. Powers left side perimeter. Dribbling into the middle of the floor. Right side wing for Robbins. Robbins now wants to go to the hoop. And now wants to call. Foul called call against someone for Sutton. And they're going to call this on Christy Jarman. It is on Christy Shireman. It's her third personal. Amy Oxman has three. Laurel Stoll has four. Christy Shireman has three. Janelle Drudek has three. Mindy Smith has three. That's for Sutton. For Wood River, Halsey has four. Powers has three. Harder's four. And Lure has three. So at the free throw line, Robin for one and one. First one's in there. Eight in the game now for Nikki Robin. 34 32. 348 to go in the third quarter. We're going to see some young ladies foul out of this basketball game. You can bank on that. Free throw by Robbins is perfect. Nine in the game for Robbins. And we're going to find out to within a point. 34-33. With it, Christy Shireman. 17-footer. Buck no good. Rebound up and down to Robbins. Robbins with it in the backboard against Shireman. Nicky Robbins will get it ahead to box Boxcatter box scatter up at the front seat. Ten second line with the dribble. box scatter with it. Right side further to that. Box Shatter will give it out to Robert. 327 to go. 34 33. Sarah Van Winkle right side of the key. Let's cross for it to Powers. Powers with it to the Eagles. Looks inside. Nothing there. Now we'll get it off to Lure. Now a three second call against Wood River. These guys just love to hear that whistle. This is unbelievable. 319 to go here. 34 33. It's a one point set and lead. Left side wing. The basketball is off the leg with 50 Shire. Taken down by Van Winkle. Team spray turnovers and Wood River gets the basketball back. Three minutes, five seconds to go. 34 33. Left side wing with the basketball box setter. Off to Van Winkle. Van Winkle at the high post. Van Winkle a couple of dribbles. Now stop. Gives it to Lur. Lur will get it back to Van Winkle. Her baseline jumper is blocked by Oxford. Good play by Oxford. 253 to go here. 34 33. One point Sutton lead, and what is not been a masterpiece for either team. And a lot of it because they're, they're not being allowed to play very much. Now it's at the basketball, right side perimeter. Down low to Robbins. Robbins puts a shot on the way, won't go. And the foul is going to be called against Lure. And Sydney Lure, that will be her for a personal. The Wood River now has Carter, Lure, and Halkey, all of their front line players, their forwards and centers, in foul trouble. 2.46 to go, and for Sutton stepping up to the free throw line will be Christy Cronin. Cronin to shoot one and one. 2.46 to go here, 34-33, we're in the third quarter, a very slow moving game, lots of turnovers, lots of fouls, lots of free throws. Shot is on the way, missed by Cronin, rebound will come down to Sidney Lure. So then handed to Boxcatter, Boxcatter against the pressure in the backcourt. Boxcatter stops his dribble, gets it off to Robbins, Robbins now will bring it up and across the timeline against Shireman, knocked away by Smith, and then the foul is called on Robbins. 233 to go here. 34 33. And now to the free throw line will go Christy Shireman for Sutton for one and one. And for Wood River checking in now will be Christy Files. 
He's a five for Junior. He'll come on for Sydney Lewis. 233 to go, 34 33. Winner of this game may be the team that's able to keep most of their first line players in the ball game. This team's got the line for one and one. Puts it up, missed it. Basketball is on the floor, taking down the Miles. Miles then will get it ahead to Bostetter. Bostetter looking for Wood River. Will wait and then get it across the timeline to Van Winkle. Van Winkle, right side perimeter. Wood River with the basketball. Van Winkle will give it to Powers. Right side perimeter. Fires a three. And it's a Pull down by Smith, down low to Cronin, and what's the call? Three second violation. So they did get the three point basket, now they said only the two point basket. So only a two apparently last time by Powers. The two point basket by Powers in the backboard, foul by Stein on the reach, and Robinson will go to the free throw line. The 35 34 is the correct score. That foul on Christy Shireman is her fourth. Now for Wood River will be Nikki Robbins. So as we mentioned, and we've been saying all game long, the team is able to keep most of their front liners in. Maybe the team that wins this basketball game. Exactly two minutes to go, third quarter. Nikki Robbins to the free throw line for one and one. Third quarter scores from all the other sides is there ahead of us here at closing, and I can see why. The Omaha Marion in Class A leading Lincoln East 37 to 36 in C2. Lee leads vertically 30 to 28, and in D2. Wheeler Central leads Fardham 31 to 19. Those are the third quarter scores. Free throw by Robbins. Yes. Nikki Robbins with the free throw. She now has 10 in the game. 6 to 7 for the free throw line. 6, 36, 34. Wood River by a couple now. Last pass. He was only called a two pointer by Power. Free throw by Robbins. is good man. 11 in the game for Robbins. And I really think Power's behind the three point line. They're cruising on the coin. There are two three point lines. They have an NBA three point line. Robbins. 
Robbins being guarded now by Drudic in the man-to-man -man set and set. The Sixers bring it up and across the timeline. Robbins with it near between the circles. Running coach beat wants the Eagles to play for one. 40 seconds to go here. They'll give it cross court to Powers. Terry Powers to the basketball to Rojas. Rojas holds it over her head. Gives to Van Winkle. Van Winkle had a shot, turns it down. And they will kick it out now to Terry Powers. Powers based on it. He falls to the travel. 30 seconds to go and we'll give it to over. 39, 36, 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. And Coach Shoneman wants to get Laurel Thor in here, a three-point shooter. Chance to fire up a three-pointer nearing the end of the third quarter. Thor will come on to do this. 30 seconds to go. 39, 36, nearing the end of the third quarter. And with the basketball now is Oxman for the cut. Coming across the timeline. Oxman against Powers. Right side wing. This is to Smith. Smith long cross to the back. Laurel Thor fires the long three to Nippy. Three down to the back by Rohan.
Bostetter. Bostetter takes it down. Keeps on the run. He gets his hit. Rebound. Takes it down to
baseline, Laurel Stoll is going back and back. Give it a 50 seconds to go. 
Robin. Uh, Robin's got his power in up short. Now it's all on Van Winkle and the two one and one now for Sutton with 19 seconds left. Goes to Winda Hoffman. Hoffman to the free throw line for one and one opportunity for the Phillies. Looks like Sutton's going to win this game. Here's the morning two and two in the year while the Wizards are season will end at 16 and 6. That'll be now Terry Powell. 17 seconds left. Powell is just down by up a knock down of two. and gets the basket. And later in the second quarter, when Terry Powers drills the three-pointer, Wood River led by 10 with five minutes left in the half. Sutton would cut into that lead before intermission. Darla Shireman underneath scores the basket and picks up the foul. Wood River led 27-25 at the half. Sutton got it going in the third quarter. Christy Shireman to Amy Oxner, and the Phillies were up by three. But Wood River rallied right back. This trade by Terry Powers gave the Lady Eagles a five-point lead heading into the fourth quarter. Then Sutton started to create turnovers. Amy Ochsner's steal and basket gave the Phillies the lead for good. It was definitely defense that made the difference. Yes, you know, we had good pressure on them, and, you know, we come up with a couple steals and be able to convert to easy uh, layup on there to get us back in the ball game. Uh, you know, it's almost like who's going to be uh, have five ball players here at the end. Everybody is in foul trouble. Another key, Laurel stores eight points in the final quarter. Sutton advances to the semifinals with a 56-47 win.